The Hillary Clinton presidential campaign rolled through Las Vegas today, minus Hillary Clinton. Filling in was her husband, former President Bill Clinton, who is uh, taking over while she continues to recuperate from pneumonia and returns to the campaign trail tomorrow. Let's go to 13 Action News political analyst John Ralston with uh, uh, the latest on Nevada being a, a very important battleground state. Indeed we are, and that's why what happens in Vegas does not stay in Vegas, especially when a former president speaks, and especially when he makes a huge gaffe. Bill Clinton's rambling 45-minute speech talked about Donald Trump and his supporters, quote, road rage. But attacking them wasn't what made big news. This was. But I just talked to her. She's feeling great, and I think she'll be back out there tomorrow. So I, uh, it's a crazy time we live in, you know, when people think there's something unusual about getting the flu. Next time I checked, last time I checked, millions of people were getting it every year. Whoops. Well, Mr. President, the campaign says she had pneumonia, which is slightly worse than the flu. Of course, the classic explanation was given by the campaign for what Bill said about Hillary. He misspoke. But if anyone wanted another person to theorize, even in crazy ways, about Hillary's health and the secretiveness of her campaign, this wasn't good. Maybe she called her husband afterwards and said, stop helping. Back to you guys. This goes exactly to what you were saying yesterday, John. The, the Clinton campaign is not helping itself uh, with, this, with this whole thing, considering the credibility issues that, that she's dealing with. Well, and Bill Clinton, you know, is not what the, the Bill Clinton of 1992 or 1996 or even 2000. Uh, he is not as quick. He really did ramble in that speech. A couple of national reporters referred to it as a long and winding speech. He repeated <laughs> himself. Uh, he, he was all over the map, spoke for 45 minutes as only Bill Clinton didn't. Part of it, of course, was very interesting. But that, to say his wife had the flu after everything that has been written about this, it was very strange, Steve. All right. Thanks, John. You bet. Tricia.